Hello everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a basic user interface using the StarCraft 2 editor. So first what you want to do is open the trigger editor. I'm just going to delete these first custom things. So what I'm going to do is go to actions and do a new action or control W and I want to make a new dialog, so I will click create dialog. You can make it whatever size you want, and these zeros are the offset relative to whichever part of the screen that you put it. I'm going to keep it at the center. Now what I'm going to do is do a set variable, and then over here on the left I'm going to right click and do a new variable and I'm going to call it my user interface then I'm going to go over to type and change it to dialog so then I can go back to my trigger do set variable set user interface equal to function last created dialog and now your user interface is um, it has a name so you can reference it later so now this will just create a box in the middle of your screen so you probably want some buttons to go along with that so let's create another action do create dialog item and go to the button and you notice there's a bunch of different options. Most of these all work the same, so I'll just go with a button. Instead of last created dialog, I'll want to click this and go to my variable and click on the thing I just named. You can resize it, however, I won't just for this demo. You can also tell it to go to a certain part of these, uh, a certain part of the box that you just made. I'll just keep it at top left for now, and the offset is fine. The tooltip um, is what appears when you hover over the image. So I'll just do uh, let's put some text there for now. And the button text is what actually appears on the button. So here is the button might not fit on this size button, but we can try. And the image is what, uh, you don't have to set an image, but sometimes it's cool to set an image to appear when you scroll over the button. I'm just going to leave that blank. Now what you're going to need to do is name that. So set variable, and then over here, I'm going to do another new variable going to name it user interface items and I'm going to make it dialog item. Now here's where it gets tricky. You want to go you want to do array and before you actually make any buttons you want to think about how many items you're actually going to want on your screen. Um, let's say maybe you want four you want to change this to at least be 4. You can set it to more if you think you might add more later. Because sometimes it causes issues if you increase the size of this after you already have buttons. So create and just pick an amount. And then go back to your trigger and set the user interface items. And the first item in the series is since this is the first button, we're going to start with a zero. And then we'll do last created dialog item. And now this is named this item zero. So now if you wanted more, you can simply copy and paste this, change the text. Change the location. and change the number to 1. And now you have another. 
And you just do that as many times as you want. Now what you also have to do is do a new element and do a show slash hide dialog. You want to show, click on the last created dialog and go to your variable and then show it for all players so that it appears on the screen. Now a few other things that are helpful sometimes when creating a uh, user interface is hiding the uh, hiding the game UI that will make um, basically a black screen sometimes that's useful and if you go down to this dialog button you notice all these other actions you can do for dialogs which really help to uh, really customize your uh, user interface I recommend going through these you can also go into the link in my description and look through the tutorials there there are a lot of more advanced uh, user interface tutorials that will help you make your uh, dialog look much better than this so if we want to see what this looks like we can go to test document and as you can see there's a box here and it has my button and my other button it looks like this one was a little uh, too much text for the size that I made Click it, nothing happens. Okay, so now say you want to do something when the player clicks on this button. So, make a new trigger. Name it dialog clicked. Do a new event of dialog used. Dialog item is used. You can do any and do if statements in the action or just uh, click the specific one. So let's do a if then else. So do a new if and comparison. So if used dialog item is equal to the variable, the first button that we named earlier, then you can do an action, like, let's just do debug, display the number one in the error bar. So if you click on the first button, it should display one. So if I test this out, I can then click on this button, and as you see, ones appear on the left in the error menu. Okay, so that is how you make a basic user interface. There are more tutorials in the link in my signature that have more advanced and prettier options that you can go through. And thank you for watching.